it's Kelly and I am back with a layout share. This layout share is from the months of January and February. I actually had some more in January that I've already put away so there's not much from January in here but I never did do these in a layout share and thought I would do it here now and I'm going to try to keep it pretty quick. Okay this layout was done for the through the Right through the rainbow challenge and I have a process video on this and it was the challenge was to do an all white layout and just so happens I had the perfect picture to go with white and that was of my daughter's um, gown bridal gown fitting so that and I used up lots of my white stash okay this one I followed a a sketch and I can't remember what for this was this has been a long time ago <laughs> that I scrapped this I've slept a lot of days since then so but it was this was another one using up scraps because this was all paper that I had in my scrap stash all right here is another one this was also from a uh, sketch and a lot of Amy Tangerine and a lot of embellishments from my stash that coordinated. They weren't necessarily a part of the collection, but they did coordinate. Like this rainbow shaker was part of the collection. This was part of the Amy Tan collection, but the rest of it was the Hobby Lobby stuff. So there's that. This one was challenging myself to use hexagons and using my die cut machine, which I don't use enough. So, and I actually, I just started playing around with the die cuts and wasn't really planning on a layout, but this is what happened with that little session of just playing. So I like how that turned out. Another one of my grandson on their, on his, what's well, the twins, on the, their second birthday party. And again, used up, this was from a paper pad and um, different, just different collections all mixed together. And I love, I love, love, love how this turned out. I just love this sky paper. And it says, you are out of this world. So, and the theme was Toy Story, so like Buzz Lightyear, they love Buzz Lightyear and Woody and all that. So I kind of thought the blast off and you were out of this world, it all went perfectly for the theme. Here is another one I did. This one was for, ooh, I need to, I just tore that one. Oh, so sad. This was for, what was this for? A sketch challenge I'm pretty sure um, I think it's scrap a sketch and I will everything I all those the sketch challenges that I've done I think most of these were for the same one and I will leave that stuff below so you can check them out as a Facebook group so and it's called scrap a sketch I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna set that one on top because I need to fix it this one was for my most recent series and I just tore off a piece and I'm so upset <laughs> for my most recent series and um, the scrap buster series and this is all scraps and it was a base page that I used to cr I, cr I created a whole bunch of base pages then I um, created page kits for each base page. I mean, I just added a photo and embellishments and then I went and scrapped all of these. So that is a whole series. I will link that below if you were interested in watching that. Another one from my uh, Scrap Buster series using all scraps. And another one. I got a lot done in, in February because of this Scrap Buster series, more than I normally would get done because I work full time and 
don't have a ton of <laughs> scrappy energy by the time I get home. So this is another one I got done for that. Scrap Buster series. Another one at the Grand Twins birthday. This is another one from the Scrap Buster series. I think there are nine layouts from that series all together. Another one from that series using all uh, base pages made from scraps. Another one with a whole bunch of different, uh, I love this, this makes me happy. <laughs> and I'm ready for spring. Um, but I, what I did was use a whole lot of different embellishments from a whole lot of different collections. And this is Felicity Jane paper and all of this is Felicity Jane paper, but all the rest of it comes from various different collections. And I love that. I love being able to use those, those embellishments that I'm done with. When I, when I use a collection, I'm done with it. I break it up and put it in my color drawers or in my rainbow colored, uh, organized pattern paper. And that's where all of this came from. And I love that I was able to use all that on a layout and it turned out so pretty. And this is another one from the Scrap Buster series. Yes, it is. Um, I'm like <laughs> having to ask myself, is that right? And this one was not from the Scrap Buster series, but it is of my, was it? Yes, it was. I'm sorry. It was. <laughs> I told you, I can't remember, it's too many. All right, but isn't that cute? Got lots of embellishments used up on that one. I need to get these in the paid protector because some of them are getting damaged. I can already see and sticking together. Here is, I think, yes, this is the final one from the Scrap Buster series that I did. And all of these, except for a couple of them, they all have process videos. So here is one I did for February um, through February's through the rainbow challenge using pink. And this one has a process video. This, the last three, wait, yes. The last four all, I, I started, uh, I finally, after I used all those scraps, I was ready for something new. And so I broke into my um, um, Vicki Booten Fernwood collection and started doing some pages using that new collection. And this was one I did, my birthday's in January. I just turned 51. So every year I do at least one layup of myself and this one just so happens to have my word of the year and kind of my journaling is just written out in a prayer so and I love how it turned out I think I'm just in love with all the vintage kind of naturey <laughs> elements of this layout but it still has a punch of color so it's not like dreary and it's it's happy just it's a unique style that I feel like Vicki Booten pulls off amazingly, which, and by the way, this is my first collection ever that I've bought of uh, Vicki Booten. Now I've had like single sheets of paper that have come in like hip kit or other, I've just had, you know, random pieces of paper, but I bought the whole kit for this one and I'm loving it. And I've already done four layouts with it. And this is of my, dot my oldest daughter and my grand puppies and again love this all the different elements and i got a ton of the die cuts used on this page so and I, these do not have process videos after i filmed that series i was kind of like yeah i'm ready for i'm ready for something else and not to be filming. So I didn't film these. Sometimes I like to just create just for me, you know, as a stress relief. So, which I love, I always love filming too, but sometimes you just want to not be under the camera. It's a different kind of experience when you're under the camera. So 
anyway this is my the this is another one I've created using the Burnwood collection and my granddaughter with her uh, new uh, hamster Mr. Pickles I couldn't think <laughs> and this is one that I'm creating that I created for a uh, ginger bushes 500 subscriber celebration on her youtube channel so this one has a process video um this will probably be my latest process video on my channel when this uh layout share comes out so i will you should be able to see the links for all of these below and don't you just love these little owls and all of these different embellishments like these skeleton leaves came from mk guns shop so did the owls they came from mk gun um the arrows came from terry rice's shop They're, they all have channels here on youtube and then um the flare came from yes please hey yes please paper class that's Karen Yagel's channel and I will link them as well below so got a lot oh and ginger bush herself die cut some use some of her die cuts and sent us lots of goodies and I kind of use those as my layering base you can see that I love that how this layout turned out it was really fun and it says I'll always love you <laughs> so kind of silly but hey it was so cute and it made the owls work right so you you just do what you can <laughs> with what you got all right that is all my layouts and i'll go ahead and count them real quick because i don't know i haven't counted them yet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve oops no twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen so pretty happy with that Yes, I am. I'm not, I can't complain. I'm making a mess. I'm not a, a very fast scrapbooker at all, but I did find that making page kits uh, works for me. As far if I if I'm needing to like get a if I want to get a lot of pages done in a pretty short amount of time, I'm finding page kits is the answer for me. And yeah, I think that is all that I have today. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out my layouts if you have any questions or comments please leave them below if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up that helps my channel out and hit the notification bell so you know when i upload my next videos thank you bye